What's going on guys? It's boy Maximum RPM coming at you with another video today. And in this video, I'm going to be doing a three-way battle between my old plastic gens. Now, before we get into everything, I just want to say, um, this is throwback week. As you see, I've done plastic gen, uh, Beyblades, and beat em on I've got a couple more beat em on things that I want to do. And I'm going to go until Monday with um, the Plastic Gens. Like, I'm going to do Saturday and Sunday, and I'm done on Sunday. S uh, next Monday, um, I'm going to start Metal Fight Week. Um, and people were asking for me to go back to Burst stuff. <laughs> I, I kind of laughed when, they, when I was reading the comment because I said, Can you go back to Burst and Turbo? I didn't realize Turbo was its own system. I thought it was just a, one, one of the varieties of it. <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't take offense to that. Um, don't worry. I'm going to be doing burst skits. Um, but I, it's my throwback week. And then uh, next week I'm going to be doing stuff that I grew up with. The Metal Fight. Uh, beat em on I did kind of grow up with, but that was more, uh, more recent. Um, three, four years ago. Whatever, let's get right into it. So we have Seaborg 2 uh, with its great attack performance tip. We have my favorite, Bump King, with its balance type tip. It's a semi-flat. And we have the great and almost powerful Cyber Dragoon. And it's a bouncy boy. Now, uh, I want to say one thing about Cyber Dragoon. It's an awesome Beyblade. It looks fantastic. But they really should have given it a different base. But I'm gl I am I like it because it's unique. But it's not very good. The attack ring, like the layer, fantastic. Um, But for the Beyblade itself, it's a little mediocre. I'm not sure if this thing is, like, breaking. Yes, it is. I'll be right back. I gotta fix it. It's not breaking. I just went into collector mode and panicked. Um, by the way, if you're recording outside like I do occasionally, uh, word of advice, wait till noon, around 12 o'clock, because the sun's going to be directly above you. That way, you won't have any shadows being casted, except for maybe your own. Let's get right into it. Oh, Seaborg made him jump. Coming down to stamina. Dragoon goes down. It's gonna be close. Seaborg. I really want Bump King to win this. But I'd be happy if Seaborg did too. I'd be happy with all three of them winning it. God, it just burst, and Seaborg got sent flying. Uh, okay, so, let me assess the situation. The bit chip came off, too. Oh, my God. The bit chip occasionally comes off on Bump King. All right, the layer is fine. It's this that I'm worried about. Oh yeah, we're good. Sometimes this one, um, it kind of, it kind of loosens itself up. No big deal. I'm actually going to give <laughs> this two points, not for a burst, but that would be kind of funny. No, not for the burst because it burst Bump King, and then it sent. Seaborg out of the stadium. Seaborg stuck into the ground. That would have been funny if Dragoon would have been the one to go out and stuck into the ground like Dark Gasher did in MFB. That was scary moment number two of this video. Nice job on getting out of the pocket, but try staying in the stadium. 
strong this round. And Seaborg had to change that. Man, Bump King was going to win it too. It had the most stamina. Seaborg's like, power! <laughs> All right. The score is 2-2-0. Two, two, yeah, Seaborg's definitely looking pretty tough. Cyber Dragoon got lucky with that one. Top of Bump King. With a pincer attack, Seaborg is gone. And Bump King gets the third point. Technically, it's first. Figures out the one that gets landed on is the smallest one in the stadium. I really like Bump King's design. I want them to make a burst remix. Or er, remix remake but i want them to make the thing like stupid strong like pegasus level strong not heaven pegasus storm pegasus heaven pegasus is pretty good though and dragoon's gone Gonna come down to stamina. And Bump King ties it up. It is two points all. This is literally as close as a three way battle can get. It comes down to the very last battle. And to the person who was asking for a burst battle, well, you got one in this video. I mean, Bump King just exploded. It literally. Every part that you can take off, came off. I mean, for crying out loud, the bit chip came off too, but that happens kind of often. The Dragoon hopped and I didn't even see it do it. This is going to be close. Coming down to stamina. Bump King takes it. Man, that might have been one of the closest battles I have ever done. And normally when I have a close battle like that, it's it's like really boring. Like it's always stamina. Man, Bump King had a lot of stamina left. Like it's always a stamina win every time. No, I mean we had KOs. We had bursts. We had complete throwouts. I mean, Seaborg is big and it's heavy. It's hard to lift. The bigger a Beyblade is, the more you can get underneath it and leverage you can have, but the harder the thing is to throw. And Seaborg's pretty heavy. But just the explosion that was generated... I, I, this was a super fun battle. Alright guys, that's about it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the bell notification so you get all my videos because I upload daily. And as always, I hope that this video makes your day just a little bit better. Live life to the max and stay awesome.